Hey there, before we get started, if you've enjoyed one of my classes before, please take a quick second to click the subscribe button. It's completely free and helps my channel out so much more than you know. Thank you and enjoy class. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to day four of the Holiday Yoga Lattes Challenge. We will not eat, need anything, just like the other classes, nothing except for yourself and your mat. And we'll go ahead and get started. We will start in a child's pose, knees together. So the knees are gonna to be together and your arms are going to be by your sides palms facing up, shoulders rolling forward. Deep breath in through the nose and a long exhale out. Another inhale and exhale. You can slowly reach the arms ahead towards the top of your mat and relax your forearms on the mat. Maybe rock your forehead or your whole body side to side just a little bit. And then we'll take the right hand and just bring it on top of your back, palm facing up. Relaxing your fingers here, your palm, your arm. Just kind of letting the weight of gravity work here on your shoulder. And then slowly bring that arm back forward. Reach those fingertips forward and then the left arm is gonna fold on top of your back. and slowly reach that arm forward. Awesome, we'll round up through the spine, coming to our hands and knees. We'll just take some circles to the right, kind of stretch the wrists. And then to the left. Awesome, we'll go ahead and reach those hands out in front of you, lower your belly and your chest towards the mat, but then your forehead is likely gonna come to the mat first. You can always adjust your stance here if you need to scoot your knees back a little bit, and just keep reaching those arms forward, stretching through the shoulders, the side bodies. Big breath in, and exhale. Awesome, let's go ahead and Roll it forward all the way onto your belly. Bring those hands underneath your shoulders and then we'll just press up to a tabletop again. All right, let's go ahead and curl those toes under. Find a big breath in and then just come to a floating tabletop. So you're pressing through your palms. We're not sinking into the belly, not sinking into our shoulders, making it harder than it needs to be. Go ahead and engage that core, press through your palms just floating the knees a few inches off the mat and then we'll tap the knees and lift isolating the rest of the body we're just tapping the knees for four three two and one hips go up and back to a downward facing dog and you can pedal this down dog out pressing through the palms, making sure that those shoulders are nice and strong. Your back is nice and flat. We don't want to be rounding through the upper back. Even if your heels don't come all the way to the mat, that's fine. I'd rather you bend into your knees than round into your back. All right, from this downward facing dog, take a deep breath in and exhale, come back to that floating tabletop. Down dog and floating tabletop down dog floating tabletop two more down dog you can do it floating tabletop don't touch those knees last one 
floating tabletop hold here for five, four, three, two, and knees come down. Untuck your toes, sit on your heels, shake those arms out. Very nice job. Hands on your knees, we'll go ahead and lift the chest. Then exhale, round through the spine. Drop the crown of your head, chin comes towards your chest. Inhale, lift, roll those shoulders back. And exhale, round. Two more. Lift. And round. Awesome. Let's go ahead and come to a downward facing dog. Gaze forward and travel to the top of your mat. Very nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, arms reach all the way up. And then exhale, bend into the elbows and bring them parallel to your mat, to the floor. We'll just take some washers here, side to side. Oh, this feels so good on your spine. My whole back just cracked. For 10, nine, eight, seven, use momentum. Six, five, four, three, two, and one very nice inhale mountain pose arms reach up exhale forward fold all the way down inhale halfway lift and exhale chaturanga dandasana take your vinyasa plant your hands step back and take your push-up option to come to your knees and take your push-up or you can always just step back to your down dog wherever you are we'll always meet in down dog deep breath in and exhale. Awesome. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, arms all the way up. And exhale, we're just hinging at the hips. Torso leans forward halfway here. Weight goes back in the heels, so much you can probably lift up your toes. Palms are gonna be facing flat to the floor. Very nice. Core is engaged here, back is nice and strong. We're just bending the elbows and then reaching them forward. Bend the elbows, reach it forward. For four, three, two, and one, reach it back forward, and then forward fold. Lovely, inhale, halfway lift, and go ahead and bend into the knees and step that left foot back. Nice, big step back. Awesome, inhale up to a crescent lunge. Very nice, so a nice strong crescent here, you're on the ball of that back left foot and you're pressing your left heel forward, strong bend in that front knee. Very good, deep breath in. Exhale, straighten through the front leg, and then reach the arms forward. Take your time here. Hold and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend into that front knee. Fingertips are going to come to the mat and we're gonna to come to a standing split. So just lifting up that back left leg. Your leg doesn't need to come all the way high. We actually wanna keep that left hip turned down. So you're more so pointing that left leg straight behind you. Alrighty, with our fingertips on the mat, we're just gonna tap that left toe and lift back up. Squeeze the glute, lower and lift. For six, five, four, point that left toe, three, two, and one. Hold it up here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bend into that knee, come to your warrior two. Flip the right palm, reverse your warrior, 
and then cartwheel the hands down and vinyasa. So again, you can bring your knees down, lift your heels, scoot forward, hips go forward. You just wanna keep those elbows in by your sides. Lower your feet, inhale upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Love, let's do the other side. Gaze forward on an inhale. Exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, rock some weight into those toes. All right, we'll go ahead and ground into the left foot. Step that right foot back generously and lift the torso up to a crescent lunge. Bend into that front left knee a little bit. Press that right heel forward, engage that right leg. Make sure you're not bending into your knee. That leg should be fairly straight. Deep breath in. And then exhale, straighten through the front leg just a little. Reach it forward. Very nice. Hold here for three, two, and one. Bend into that left knee. Fingertips come to the mat. And then we're gonna power into that left foot to a standing split, keeping the right hip pulled down. So we're not opening up like this, closing it down. All right, keeping your core engaged. Gaze is also not at your foot, but actually ahead of you, so ahead of your fingers. We're gonna lower that right leg, keeping that toe pointed, and lift, lower, Lift. First six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Shaking is good. And one. Bend into that knee and come to your warrior two, opening up those arms. Flip the left palm, inhale, reverse your warrior, and exhale, cartwheel the hands down, and take your vinyasa. Remember, you always have the option to just step right back like this to a down dog, or you can come to your knees, lift your heels up towards your bum, scoot those hips forward so that your whole body is nice and straight. Take your push up lower your feet inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog deep breath in open mouth exhale awesome let's go ahead and come to our knees untuck your toes sit on your heels one hand on your heart one hand on your belly give yourself just a second kind of rejuvenate your, your breath, slow it down. Awesome. Alrighty, let's go ahead and come back to that tabletop. And then we're going to float the knees again, utilizing our core. And we're gonna send our hips up and back to a down dog. And then come to that floating tabletop Step the left leg through and open up. You don't have to float the left leg unless you want to, or you can leave it down on the ground. Bring that right hand back and come back to center. So again, shifting onto the right foot, left leg extends, it either touches the ground or it floats and come back to center. For three, keep that whole body strong. Two. Last one, hold here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. You can lower those knees for a second, untuck your toes. Maybe come to your forearms if that feels good. And relax here. And let's do the last side and then we'll do some deep stretching. You're so close. Curl those toes. I promise I know you got it. 
deep breath in. Exhale, hips go up and back to down dog. Hinge it forward. Right leg shoots out. Open up. And come back to center. Down dog. Floating table. Extend and open. Right heel can be on the floor. Bring it back in. And center. Down dog. Floating tabletop. Open it up. Center. Two more. Down dog. Floating tabletop. Open it up. Center. Last one. I know you have it in you. Down dog. I know those shoulders are burning. <laughs> Floating tabletop. Open and center. Come down to a wide knee child's pose. Sink those hips back towards your heels. Rest your forearms on the mat. Long breaths in and even longer exhales out. Make sure that your belly is really expanding as you're breathing. Open mouth breathing releases a lot of heat. So try to, if you want to release heat, make sure that your mouth stays open. We'll go ahead and rock forward, cross our ankles behind us, and send those legs out in front of you. You can bring that right foot over the left leg and squeeze onto the outer part of your knee. You can add a little twist here, walking those right fingertips behind you. And then coming back to center, go ahead and cradle your foot. So, you're basically going to keep that left leg nice and straight and you're bringing the edge of that right foot into the crevice of your arm. Then you're gonna wrap your right hand around your knee and bring your leg in towards your chest. And cradle it, rock it like a baby. <laughs> Give it one more good squeeze, and you can straighten that leg out. All right, let's do the other side. Left leg over, wrap your arm around your knee, and then walk those left fingertips behind you. Make sure you're breathing here on those exhales. See if you can squeeze a little bit closer in. and then come back to center. Go ahead and bring the edge of that left foot into the crevice of your elbow. Wrap the left arm around you. And a nice little cradle here. Bring that leg as close to your chest as possible. and we'll slowly release that leg. Send your feet to the edges of your mat. Arms reach up, spine is nice and tall and straight. Deep breath in and exhale just like we reached forward and hinged at the hips in that forward fold or that forward reach. We're gonna do the same thing here. So reaching as far forward as we can first, then taking your peace fingers to your big toes while that spine is straight and bending into your elbows. If you only can reach this far, stay right there, no worries. You always also have the option of lifting up your legs, bringing your hands under your ankles or under your calves, whichever you like, and then pulling your chest in between your thighs or holding on to your heels, whatever you choose. Just try not to round through your spine for four, three, flex your feet, two, and one. Roll it all the way up and go all the way onto your back. 
Very nice. Your hands can rest on your belly if you'd like. We'll take one final breath in through the nose. And an exhale, release it out. Stay right here on your back if you'd like, or you can roll over on your side into fetal pose. Using your bicep as a pillow, giving yourself a few more seconds to relax. And you can gently press into that left palm or the right palm, press up to a seated position. Eyes can stay closed or a soft gaze. And we'll bring our palms together to our forehead as a reminder of positive thoughts as we go, especially into this holiday season, just being very gentle and giving people a little more grace <laughs> during this season. Palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly to your friends, to your family, to your spouses, and to yourself. Palms to your heart as a reminder that you are loved, you are valued, you are needed, you are important, you are special. God loves you, God knows you, and God made you perfectly just as you are. One more breath in through your nose and a long exhale out. You can fold your eyes open. God bless, friends. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you did, please be sure to give this class a thumbs up or this video a thumbs up. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications. And if you would like to donate to me at all, anything and everything is so graciously appreciated. Um, yeah, I'll leave my cash up and Venmo on the next screen, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.